Hey guys, I did just get back from Cuba, but I thought I would share with you my um, my tanning routine when I'm not naturally tan. So anyways, I'm just going to show you a few products that I love. Um, okay, the first one. Okay. So there's this one here. Um, it's called Tan Wise. I get the dark bronzing sunless mousse. And usually I'll use it with a glove. I can't find one, but um, use like a mitt and make sure you shower, shave, exploit your whole body. You don't want any dry patches because it's not going to look good, trust me. But yeah, after you're completely smooth, dried off, take this. I use probably two pumps for like each body part, so two pumps on my arms, two pumps chest, stomach, back, legs, probably four pumps all together. And I usually don't apply this to my face just because I find it clogs my pores. But to each their own. Um, something I find pretty similar. It's called Quick Tan Bronzing Mousse. I got this in dark or medium dark. Um, I find them pretty equivalent. Like these two are kind of the same, but I find this one lasts two days longer than this one and it fades a lot nicer as well and also I got this California tan at um, Miami tanning in Oromocto um, this one was $40 which is kind of expensive because these like this one was only like 20 maybe and this one was like 10 but um, it says develops two, so I don't know, level two is what I got. Um, this one's more on the red tone side, like it's it's not orange, but it's not, it doesn't have a blue undertone like the other two do. So this one I use sometimes, like if I don't have Dave, I'll just spray my back because I can't really reach my back sometimes. Um, so there's that, and then um, this, I kind of I melted the bottle, but um, I got this, I got all these pretty well at Sally's, I love Sally's. Anyways, um, this is the Hemp Bronzing Moisture for a Hint of Tan all year long. It smells pretty good, like when you put it on, and it it's like kind of like Jergens, but it just, it develops over time. Um, but I like this, it keeps my tan pretty even. And, um, it kind of has that self-tanning smell in the morning, but nothing too strong. And then, um, when I do use tanning beds, which I kind of did before I went away, and, like, I do occasionally just because I will like the way I feel after I tan, but this JWoww stuff, oh my goodness, okay, it says it was $80 plus tax, so this don't buy it it's nothing special like you could go to maritime and get this stuff which was like nine dollars and it works exactly the same so don't buy this but um i got this sun buzz stuff it has tingle in it i love tingle i know some people hate tingle because they feel like their skin is lighting on fire but i actually love it i find it get the deepest tan when i use it but yeah, this one was really nice. Um, it's pretty much gone. And then I had one, it was like um, kind of the same shape bottle, but it was brown and it was called chocolate something. But that one had a tingle in it and that one was nice. And I don't know, I think this one was around $50. Um, and then um, for special occasions and stuff, I can use this. It's still the tan wise, but it's like... Um, just like a tinted moisturizer, it makes you look, I don't know, just extra tan and sparkly. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, and then the last thing that I use, it's not really tanning, I don't know, it's more like skin, but it smells so good, um, it's by Hemp's, the real Hemp's, and it says coconut infusion, shimmering herbal bodies something I don't know sparch. oh my god okay anyways it just it has like little sparkles in it. it smells like coconut 
Oh, it just smells like this, a summer day, and you just put it all over your body, and it makes your body really shiny. I don't know. I really like it. So anyways, if you guys want to see, like, a demo or something, I can do that for you. But anyways, that's my tanning routine. Thanks for watching.